Hello there, Libra, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there, Libra. And okay, what is going on? We got a happy ending. So it looks like some type of new beginning is on the horizon here. Um, I'm seeing a lot of sun energy actually coming through. So I feel that if some of you Libras, maybe not all of you, but if you've gone through some type of like real struggle or maybe very painful um, ending, it's actually turning into a happy ending. But for most of you Libras, just look at your situation as a happy ending and a new beginning. So there may be some type of celebration ahead as well, okay? So we've got a completion here. Let's see what else you need to know when it comes to your situation, Libra. I really like the purple and the yellow together. So I am like really picking up uh, intelligence, um, one that knows how to alleviate suffering and pain, not only from yourself, but others, even if it does take some time, right? Because it does, uh, but also regalness, royalty coming through as well. Let's see, music. Hmm. So music is essential right now. Some of you guys, um, you might be uh, writing, singing, chanting, humming, playing music to help you heal, to stay motivated. I I'm picking up a celebration here. So, you know, I am getting like three of cups energy coming through. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's get a little bit more about this um, music because I feel that spirit wants you to, or to look at if you're not already, as your life um, coming into a sense of celebration because spirit really wants you, Libra, to feel really on point about where you're at. I want more about this music for Libra when it comes to Libra situation. Let's get more about this music for Libra. Libra, you, uh, if you haven't listened to it uh, quite yet, wow, that one's, that one came out reverse for me <laughs> and they're not, well, so I guess some of them are, <laughs> yeah, that's my fault. I'll make sure that we get these uh, straightened out. Yeah, some of them are, some of them are, but you know what? It's really interesting. Actually, I just got drawn to one that's upside down here and I was going to tell you, Libra, um, Libra, I was going to say something here. I, if you haven't listened to the last SOS reading someone's Oracle messages, I feel that you would resonate with that. So I will put it in the description box below, uh, if I remember, and hopefully I do, but you know, Libra, this is in time. This really is a time that you might find yourself more motivated and inspired to you know, release anything that might hold you back from expressing maybe a gentler, softer, more innocent, childlike side of yourself. So spirit is gifting you something that's going to bring you some type of like strength, vitality and happiness. I'm just getting drawn to more of that yellow light that's really surrounding you, Libra. So I feel that there's um, a lot happening with things just kind of going your way for a while. So just milk it, enjoy it. Okay. Um, joy and delight. Yeah. Do whatever you got to do <laughs> for some of you. Make the effort to put yourself in a place of joy, opening your heart. Maybe it's to music. I mean, do what you love here because the more that you're feeling and in tune with this vibration of joy and delight, the higher and the higher you start to feel, the more exciting things get, uh, get going here. And I am seeing you guys opening your heart here. So you know, expect the wondrous to emerge here, Libra. Okay. Um, miracles are emerging in your life and just expect it to. So I do feel a lot of you are in the process, whether you realize it or not, some you're intentionally manifesting. Some of you, you're just, you're manifesting good in your life. As long as you, uh, be in control of oneself here and, and where we're, uh, doing how we're feeling, you know, all that good stuff. Now, it doesn't mean that we can't give into times where we need to feel a little bit, um, you know, or actually I should say be with those feelings of disappointment, sadness, or, or even anger, frustration, whatever. Okay. Um, but that's what gets you guys uh, on this path of really 
um, tuning into more joy, excuse me, more joy and delight in one's life because you know the contrast of what you don't like versus what you do like. Lie back, rest and relax. So some of you, you might just find a simple joys and delight listening to some music, hanging out outside, watching the clouds, watching the weather, observing nature, maybe in a hammock, maybe just sitting on the grass here. Um, Spirit wants you to get uh, motivated with just lying back, resting, relaxing, and seeing what comes to you. Because I do feel for some of you, if you've been like feeling like a struggle or you've been feeling or noticing something coming to a completion, well, it is, okay? So... Just lie back, rest, and relax, and watch. Uh, watch and expect the wondrous to emerge here. Okay, what else for Libra? Yeah, Libra, look at this. You're you just need to surrender. <laughs> I mean, surrender to. The little things, if, you, if some of you Libras find it a little bit difficult to open your heart or to joy or whatever, um, just keep, keep, keep continuing to surrender. I'm really getting hanged man energy, actually, Libra. So some of you, yeah, there might be a sense of uh, frustration. We want things to move along, but they're not moving along. <laughs> but that's because you guys are coming into a sense of rebirth. And I am seeing you being born into, again, this like innocent energy here. So spirit does not want you to hold on to any shame, regret, guilt, nothing, none of it. It doesn't belong. You're meant to surrender. I feel a lot of you are attracting those things that really make you feel abundant, Um and alive here, okay? So keep continuing to surrender. Spirit is gonna show you guys something when it comes to the wondrous emerging in your life, right? So that you're able to actually see this. Try to pay attention to whether we're, you know, for some of you Libras, if you're just like running, running, running. <laughs> I'm like kind of seeing that um, old commercial, oh my goodness, like the Energizer Bunny, Bunny commercial where it just kept going and going and going. And it's like, Libra, you don't need to keep going and going and going for some things, right? And it is playing the drums though. That rabbit is playing the drums. So <laughs> for some of you, even while you're watching and, and resting and relaxing, you're still playing important music notes to the universe about what it is that you want. So the universe is listening to your own um, tune, your own rhythm, your own beats, okay? So continue to surrender and be at ease. And I feel a lot of you are coming into a time to feel at ease, okay? What else? Oh, individuality here, Libra. So <laughs> expecting the wonders to emerge. There could be shifts and changes that are happening with you and you're adapting to maybe a new lifestyle, uh, new habits, new patterns, a new way of thinking, right? Joy and delight here. So I feel a lot of you Libras are really meant to surrender and keep surrendering to maybe for some outdated thoughts or thinking or just surrendering struggle so that you're more in tuned with your own individuality, which is really important, Libra. Okay. And I feel that music um, and something that you do behind the scenes is very unique and, uh, you know, sacred for you as well, especially when it comes to healing or just putting yourself in a state of joy or manifesting. Okay. What do you want Libra to know when it comes to individuality here? Because for some, you know, you really feel and are on this path of really breaking free or breaking the mold or following the crowd or following what others may expect you to do because everybody else does it. And you're like, no, I don't think so. In fact, I'm just going to sit here and watch the clouds. I'm not going to go falling into the hustle and bustle of being like feeling like a robot in life. Okay, just hear me out for some of you guys. <laughs> but let's see what this individuality look, um, excuse me, looks like. <laughs> yeah, Libra, I want to see what this individuality looks like within you because I'm, again, I'm getting this thing of rebirth here. So something beautiful is emerging from you, which is creating blessings in your life. Let's get more with this individuality. I am getting fire sign coming through as well. 
okay, get get ready for new horizons. Oh my gosh, maybe some of you guys, you could be from another country or you could be traveling to another country or learning about some faraway places, whether you physically go or not here. But also, wow, I'm just, you know, I was getting this thing about like sun energy here too. So I feel a lot of you... Um, you might be feeling a lot more in the spotlight than usual or just feeling good about where you're headed here, very positive and happy. Um, I'm seeing this thing about you really embracing with enthusiasm something adventurous and new for you because you're seeing something already here or you're about to. Oh, okay, for some of you, I am getting two of wands coming through as well, so more fire sign. Some of you are attracting a person to you if you haven't already. This is going to be a person that is going to, at, for the most part, uh, share the same visions or values or really um, supports you in your pursuits, your passions, your desires. So it only enhances your own individuality, okay? So this is really good here. So some of you, you might be finding yourself at this with, well, excuse me, um, with this happy ending, my, you may have or will be coming out of old contracts, commitments, or maybe just an old self, okay? And coming into that new here. So yes, this is good. Let's see what else for Libra. And also Libra, this is a general reading. So if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs. Or feel free to check out past messages as well. Those are all timeless. And this is a timeless reading. So whenever you get this reading and it resonates for you, then it's meant for you. What does Libra need to know? What else does Libra need to know about their situation? Caring connection. See, I was getting this thing about you. And I think these are all upside down. Yeah, see. Oh, look at that. Financial constraints. Hmm, some of you guys might be a little bit in some type of hardship. It doesn't necessarily mean it's financial or we're just feeling um, our resources are a little bit tight, but wow, what I actually like is I'm seeing number 13 <laughs> and 14. Okay, we got like one step after another. I am seeing something recovered here for a lot of you because I was picking something up about, it's like I was seeing this, um, this ball of energy that you're holding here and it's like you're really drawing more abundance into your life. So the more that you release and not worry about constraints in one's life, get back into your heart, the better off you're going to be here. Okay. So yeah, you guys are drawing in some type of caring connection, very supportive and lovely here. So open yourself up. Some of you may need to have patience though. Okay. When it comes to yourself and others. Um, now for some of you, there could be something here with like a win-win situation, um, after a fallout for some. Okay. Um, maybe even like a money fallout for some. I, I want to know though, why this card wanted to show itself for Libra. Why did this card want to show itself for Libra? You're going to make it to the other side for a lot of you guys, because I am sensing I was getting this, this bridge vision to Libra. So it's like, you know, really stepping over, you know, that, that last bit of maybe constraints, frustration, whatever it is, it's turning happy though. Okay. Let's get more about this financial constraints, constraints for uh, Libra. You know, Libra, even if things are feeling a little bit scarce or not plenty of or however we're seeing things you do have what you need to get by here so maybe for some if you are feeling that constraint you know do take it easy surrender watch the clouds relax how for some just hear me out we we can't draw in a lot of wealth of happiness abundance and love if we're feeling energetically constrained within our own physical well-being here so it is important to remain poised to do whatever you guys got to do to soothe the soul to watch those clouds and i'm not i'm not saying all of you guys are feeling like that but you have <laughs> and it might creep up because i do get this some of you libras 
this thing about transformation, there could be an old outdated way of behaving or thinking about something that keeps surfacing up, right? As you start to draw on more wealth, it might cause you to have more fear and anxieties of losing it. So you need to eradicate that as much as possible. Be aware of those thoughts, okay? Whether it's love, money, you know, whatever it is that you're wanting here, but don't worry. Okay, you guys really are worried about something when it comes to not enough, not feeling enough, not feeling good enough, not having enough money. You're too enmeshed in the situation, so you got to stay. You got to step back, um, Libra, and see the bigger picture before making any decisions or taking action. So look at this. We got you know music, surrender, uh, watching clouds, expecting expect the wondrous to emerge here, because you're too enmeshed in the situation. Okay, especially when it comes to some type of constraints. So you're going to know what to do as you continue to surrender and stay back, right? Because we might only notice, you know, we might be only noticing what's empty. And what do you think that's doing? That's making you feel bad, <laughs> right? It's not filling up your well. So take a step back, give yourself breathing room, give yourself and your finances breathing room or whatever you feel has got a real tight a hold on you in some aspect here. I am getting air sign coming through. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, what else for Libra? You know, I'm going to go back to that vision I had of the Energizer Bunny. Some of you Libras, just hear me out for something because this kind of happened to me too. And I do have, my rising is Libra. Um, okay, speaking of that energized bunny, especially if some of you Libras going through a lot of changes, you're just probably on the go and go and go, you have to do a lot, you know, go, 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 or, you know, just a lot going on here where you actually just kind of, it's like that energ energizer bunny, it's like, the Energizer Bunny needed to only go from here to here, but you just keep on going, right? And so the, actually the break or that um, resting point is here. But the Energizer Bunny, which is you, keeps going this way, right? You're like, oh, well, because you probably got used to it, right? And it became, you know, because, you know, humans, we, we humans are um, creatures of habit. So if some of you guys find yourself having a little bit of hard time, maybe slowing down in some aspects of your life, it's because you were, you were running and running and running here. So Spirit is saying, stop, lay back, listen to music, chill out, have fun, okay? Um, third chakra, um, Archangel Shamuel. So I feel this is all about drive and passion here confidence as well some of you something is being birthed within you too when it comes to really staying motivated and creative here and feeling very purposeful okay i'm seeing a lot of you i mean that's that's the solar plexus chakra so it is connected to like that sun energy as well okay your heart your solar plexus and your um, sacral chakra is highly activated. So you do need to nurture it and take care of it. In fact, the best way that you are going to nurture it and take care of it is music, watching clouds, because it will um, yield good or great dividends in your future because you're putting yourself in a state of already feeling restful, relaxed, and abundant. Okay, what else for Libra? Oh, Libra, yes, you do hold divinity within you. Don't ever look at this individuality. And it went right on that card, okay? We've got Archangel Shamuel that's helping you and guiding you, um, releasing tension and restrictions within your energetic uh, solar, you know, yeah, your solar plexus, but your energetic uh, chakra systems here, okay? Because you do hold the power of divinity. So some of you, there may be more uh, time that you're going to be spending or finding yourself communing with spirit, with your higher self, um, 
and really engaging in something here when it comes to trust and faith in the higher powers because Libra, Spirit is saying that you absolutely de deserve divine connections, divine situations, and a divine life here. So never forget yourself, never forget the energy that you hold. And for some of you Libras, you know, commitments and promises that you may have made for yourself and, and with your higher self or with spirit here to never forget that, um, you know, what's important to you between you, your higher self and the spiritual realm or whatever it is that you're believing here. Okay. Um, because it is going to be strengthened here. Now, some of you, I'm seeing some smoke here, so there could be something with saging, uh, clearing space, clearing your own energy with smudging or something like that, okay? Maybe um, we're spending some time outdoors here, getting uh, replenished and recharged here, and really connecting with divine source, which is always going to give to you as much as you need. What else for Libra? Okay, we got some type of attachment here. And I was going to say something too, back to this uh, feeling something that's not enough here, was think of yourself as, as you're watching clouds, listening to those music, opening your heart to more trust and love that the universe is going to provide for you whatever you need. The more that we start to fill up, you know, this bank account, <laughs> okay, in the future, all right, we got attachment going on here. Let's see, let's get more about this attachment. What do you want Libra to know about this attachment? What, is, what do you want Libra to know when it comes to this attachment? Because, you know, we do have this uh, message about being too enmeshed in a situation. So let's get a little bit more with this attachment for you, Libra, and what you need to know. I'm seeing someone who doesn't maybe want to change or who's afraid. Um, you know, we might be feeling comfortable. Maybe we've gotten to a point where some, you know, you might have felt complacent or, or maybe you're getting the warning signs of not being complacent here or, you know, being attached to something because you're like ready to go to faraway places. You're too fragmented. So that's what's going on. We're too fragmented. So do whatever it, it takes to get grounded. Look at this divinity. Remember your source, Libra. Okay. Your source is not outside of you. Your source is within you here. That's how the divine is communicating with you as you're relaxing, as you're in your dream state. So you've been a little bit out of sorts here. Okay. And it's all right. It's okay. You guys are going to be just fine here. You just need to do whatever it takes. Is it music? Is it um, journaling? Is it expecting, you know, putting yourself in a state of um, positive expectations here or outcomes? Why is Libra feeling attached? That's well, why is Libra feeling attached here? Look at this truth and synergy here. There's something that's going to break you free here too. So I feel some of you Libras, you know, I was getting that sun card energy and some type of truth will be unveiled. Um, something will come to light here. And also for some of you Libras, look at this. I just see this as justice card. This is Libra's energy. Look at this. I feel that you guys are really um, stepping up into your power, whether you feel like it now or not, you are, because I am seeing you guys really being truthful about yourself, your situation, and what you truly deserve. Something is out of balance and out of whack, and you're doing what it takes to get things uh, back to balance here. So it's only helping you guys with synergy and receiving and seeing how all things work together, because I do feel some of you Libras might be feeling a little bit isolated or alone. I'm maybe picking up five of pentacles energy where we do feel not so supported, right? Or we're questioning our support with ourselves, with the spirit, with others, okay? But I'm seeing something happening here as you guys start to back away and surrender. Um, it's almost like things start to fix itself naturally here, okay? 
follow your guidance when it comes to what really gives you uh, a sense of honesty or re recep uh, reciprocity energy. Okay, what else for Libra? Adventure, see? Some of you guys, it may get a, it, for some, because we might be attached to something here. Okay, I don't know how strong it is, but we might be a little bit, for some, a little bit hesitant about some type of adventure here. But I would say for you, Libras, there's something new uh, spurt, sprouting in your life here. So be willing to do things a little bit different. You know, change something up. You'll, you'll find that as you start to change little habits or patterns, and I know some of you guys are already doing it, so good for you. Um, it's going to bring you some great blessings here and something new to get excited about, okay? I mean, for some of you, yeah, I mean, there's definitely something here with going places, okay? Whether it's far away or not, it's going to be an adventure here. All right, let's see. What else for Libra? Oh, you guys have an angel of love that's watching over your love life too, Libra. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe in the future for some of you Libras, maybe we'll have to do love readings or something here in the future. Okay, so we got the angel of love. Oh my God, you know what I'm getting? Okay, look, there's a journal and a log and there's strategy here. Okay, for some of you, as you're taking a step back and, and seeing a bigger picture, I am seeing a strategy coming into place here. Now, some of you, you know, whatever we're feeling constrained, you know, just start using your resources wisely and, and just do what you got to do for the time being and not worry about it, okay? But I do see something happening here, Libra. I'm like getting this like divine detour in pro uh, progress here or div um, there's definitely... A <laughs> There's definitely a strategy going on here between you and the angelic realm and when it comes to your love life, okay, and feeling that love. So you're definitely um, being drawn to more things that can open your heart to love, to healing, to expressing love, okay? What else for Libra? leadership. Yeah. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Okay. we got parenting here too. So there may be something here with the parent or parenting, but some of you, what I'm seeing is you need to parent your leadership uh, qualities and give to that more and more, um, because you are a true leader. <laughs> Libra, don't forget this. You know, I don't want you to compare yourself either because whether you're taking a lead in your life or you're stepping up in, in, in something here where we're having more influence or power, whatever it is, okay? Trust that you have the ability to do so. And I do see for some of you guys, if you're questioning your skills as a parenting or, you know, or questioning your skills to be a good parent, you don't need to. You've got what it takes, okay? But I know not all of you guys are... Um, parents here, but I do see some type of new life that is being birthed in your life. So there is something that you're going to want to hold and nurture in a sense here, and especially hold and nurture your own leadership qualities. Um, I would say keep looking at and focus on what makes you so strong and resilient. What else for Libra? Domestic harmony. Okay, we got... Um, Oh, wow. Okay. Domestic harmony and environment. Well, you know what, Libra, for some of you guys, well, you know what I was picking up though? There was something that is not so in harm. There's something that, okay. Take it if it resonates. Some of you guys in your environment, something's not har in harmony. So, you know, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but if you've been feeling like you've been putting things off, like tidying things up, getting organized, getting rid of things, do it, Libra. You're going to, you don't know how much that will actually affect your own energy too. So I do see you guys doing things when it comes to your environment and also having domestic harmony, like hello, caring connections, like three of cups, 10 of cups type of energy here. Okay. So there's going to be plenty that's going to provide you in your environment, especially when it comes to aiding you and guiding you and bringing in and sustaining some type of domestic harmony. Okay, what else for Libra? 
Oh, Libra. Holy crap. Yes. No wonder like justice card came out. This is karma. You've completed karma, a karmic completion. Look at that happy ending. Oh my God. See, some of you Libras, you might be tested by an old self that wants to emerge a little bit here, like that old negative thinking that says, oh my God, here, oh, we can't, you know, we're going to be afraid. Of, we got all this and we're going to lose it. You know, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Anyhow, you know, karmic completion, which is awesome. So you've broken some type of karmic pattern here that is not aiding in you with, um, your well-being, with your love life, with, you know, the abundance that's coming to you. So you've done the right thing here. And this is why you're being blessed with a very harmonized um, living situation for yourself, okay? Or you're coming into it. What else for Libra? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how spirit is helping you, Libra, in your current situation. How is spirit helping Libra? surrendering to the journey spirit is so funny look at that we got that card of surrender oh and look oh wait never mind that's 91 but for a second i was seeing it backwards 19 sun card being illuminated on your path here as you're surrendering releasing control libra i mean energetically spirit's doing what spirit can do to help you guys feel very secure no matter what and surrendering to the journey because, yeah, we can't figure it out, right? I am getting this thing about you adapting to these changes and um, being, you know, here's the thing. Spirit's helping you guys release control to be in more control. Is that, you hear what I said? To release control to be more in control. Because we're not fighting against something. We're not um, attaching ourselves to an old situation or an old way of thinking or being. So spirit is helping you absolutely release your control because you don't have to control it, right? Because you're working with divine energy anyways. Let's get one more for how spirit's helping you, Libra. Communication, nice. So something uh, important for communication and also if anything has gone on with misunderstandings, well, I'm seeing something being cleared up here. So, um, but for a lot of you Libras, I'm getting this thing about you being able to um, communicate, you know, freely what it is that you want to do or say, you know, you're opening your heart and being very um, innocent in a situation to, to the point where you don't feel held back, right? And so that you can express yourself, which is helping you um, really hone in on how individual and lovely and rare you are okay and trust that spirit is going to gift you the right words to use when you need to use them now for some of you i can see how that communication with parenting or leadership has a big play in that as well so trust you are being given the right situation no matter what it appears to be okay love and light take care libra